right, day 178 on the Appalachian Trail. That's a little view. I am leaving Woody Gap. Always liked Woody Gap. It's a neat place. They have a bathroom back there. They have uh, trash cans. Got dropped off. I think the thing I always liked most about it was if you're going southbound, there's no uh, big hill to start with. <laughs> Kind of run parallel for a while. Anyway, got home last night, uploaded a big video. I didn't realize I'd recorded so much yesterday. I guess I was waxing poetic. But uh, off we go. Try to do 19 today. I better do 19. <laughs> Chops is going to be waiting for me there. One mile from the uh, Springer Mountain. We'll go back to uh, his his place, spend the night. Then tomorrow morning he'll bring me up. I'll do the one mile. Then do the approach trail. And then we're done. Done. That'd be what day 179. It's a lot of days on the Appalachian Trail. I like it. Interesting how the blowdown's going to be today. I'm already starting off with one right here. I heard it was, uh, the guy said it was passable. Good to know. <sighs> Up at Preacher's Rock last, you know, yesterday afternoon, there were uh, four or five guys who had come up from some gap. Lord. And, uh, They said they were able to do it. I said, well, okay then. The sun's shining. Okay, here we go. Appalachian Trail. 178. All right. Here's a great view this morning. Going southbound. Some kind of an oval track over there. Lots of mountains. A hazy morning. All right, back on the trail. The uh, there has been a lot of maintenance done on this trail since the uh, hurricane. They've rerouted some sections. Good morning, Blaze. Uh, they've rerouted some sections. Some stuff was cut already. Whoever did the cutting was using an axe. Holy moly. But uh, thank you workers, volunteers. I went to the Appalachian Trail Conservancy website last night. And there was a Hurricane Irma update which basically said stay out of Georgia. <laughs> and uh, because there was a lot of downed trees, I can verify all that. The um, it hadn't been updated since the 13th or so. But they're working on it. I'm surprised they didn't say more about North Carolina. The uh, that North Carolina section, especially around uh, the shelter, was hit particularly hard. 
I hiked to this particular section of the trail back in February. I was going southbound again. I was just um, practicing, you know, getting ready for the through hike. And one of the cool things I remember, I was going down Sassafras Mountain and uh, there was a young lady from Houston going up the mountain. She was very disillusioned at that particular moment. Sassafras is a hard climb, especially if you've only been on the trail a couple of days, overloaded pack and all that stuff. I remember I had some M&Ms and it was Valentine's Day, so I gave her a little packet of M&Ms and said, here, let's get you going. And we laughed and talked for a few minutes, and I kept going. I saw that same young lady up north in Vermont, I believe, getting ready to, and she had toughed it out, gotten trail hard, and uh, that was cool. I saw several people up north that I had seen down south during those uh, um, practice hikes. Plus, uh, the trail magic days when I was with Bigfoot. That was pretty cool. So, that's kind of special. All right, here we go. All right, I was going to show you this this section of the trail is wonderful. Someone has been out here yesterday or the day before, and they have cleared it. And uh, they're using mechanical advantage. <laughs> yeah, there's chainsaws through here. They have trimmed back. They've rerouted the trail in a couple of places. They're going around Big Fall Down. But this is wonderful. I started at a woody gap going south. And uh, it's just kind of fascinating how, how much work they've done. Example right here, cut all that. Off to the sides, you can see the damage. Here's a blowdown. But the trail itself is spectacular today. So I'm gonna say it one more time. Thank you, volunteers, for what you've done. You know, these people really gotta love the trail. Love what they do. And I appreciate it. Met a nice couple a while ago from Florida. They were um, hammock camping. They were on top of a nice little vista. We talked a couple of minutes. They had to stay in Florida till the, the hurricane cleared. They're hiking up towards Dick's Creek. Their final destination they said. But they were really enjoying it. Fun people. All right, here we go. Trail. Cut up tree. Cut up tree. Thank you so much. Look at all the energy. Amazing. All right, this is Gooch Gap. Really clear. A great camping area right over there. There's water nearby. Beautiful. It's actually a little cool down here. I love it. Feels good. A lot of camping over here. I believe there's a road nearby. There's a trail to something. <laughs> there's a road. I remember the last time I crossed this road, 
back in February, the drought was in, uh, had taken its toll on everyone. And uh, someone had left gallon jugs of water to uh, help the hikers, which was greatly appreciated. Gooch Gap. There's a white blaze. It's a forest road. I'm going to have to figure out how to get to it. Looks like a fun place to come out sometime. Okay, here we go. Alright, Cooper Gap it says. It's in 4.7. They make barrels there. Okay, not really. Well, maybe they do. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, beautiful stream here. Water's flowing. Last time I was here, the uh, thing was about dry. May have been dry. Flowing good now. All right. I believe this is Justice Creek campground, camp sites up here. I remember uh, spending the night here back in February. It was really cool. If I recall, there's a lower level right down here. I was on the lower level. I recall a mother and her daughter. They were doing, they were through hiking. And uh, they got in later. She was doing a, doing it for a charitable group. Uh, for veterans, something about dogs for veterans. I mean, I apologize for not knowing more. Yeah, I believe that was my campsite right up there. You can hear the stream running. Go down and get water. And uh, we talked for a while. The mother came down and gave me a, a card. And I followed the daughter on Facebook with, for her charity. And then, uh, this was in February, and then in March, um, big snows came in up in North Carolina, and they got hit pretty hard with that. So they, uh, I believe the daughter said my mother had a neurological episode. Anyway, they quit. But this is where it was. Real nice campsite here. See the streams down there. Again, just learning how to use my gear, practicing. I remember walking down this road, getting water. There's some campsites down to the left also. I don't think they're the official sanctioned ones. But they work down there, going on that road. I know where that one goes. Who would have thunk? Here I am back again. Uh, all right, a little stream crossing. And if I remember, there's a climb here. It wasn't terrible, but... I'm highly motivated today. Maybe it'll be easier. All right, here we go. 
day 178 on the Appalachian Trail. Alright. Should be at Cooper's Gap. And I believe this is a new trail. I think they've redone it. Relocated it, I should say. And I like it because I think the old one went over the top. This one's running around the edge at a much nicer elevation gain. <laughs> it looks good. This whoever maintains this has already been out here and cut everything off. But I like the trail. I usually can pick up where they where the old one was. I can see it this time. Yeah, this is A plus. So way to go, trail relocator. You did good. Alright, here we go. Right, Cooper Gap. There's the new trail. And there's the old trail that went over the top. And I really like that new trail. So thank you very much. Alright. Here we go. This is the Hawk Mountain Shelter. Double decker. Stopped in here and drank a little Gatorade. About seven miles from a parking lot. There's bear cables. It's got a privy. I'm going to the water sources down a ways. All right, here we go. Pretty strange. Here's a bridge. Another pretty stream on the Appalachian Trail, less than four miles to Springer Mountain. Holy moly. Okay, we start going uphill now. Can't believe this. I'm on trail 178 days and I missed this turn. There's no blazes. I got some wood laying here. Wood's laying everywhere on the trail. I went straight ahead. I missed this turn. Thank you, gut hooks. Now, now I can see a blaze. My thinking is perhaps they should put the blaze before the turn. <laughs> it's my fault. I was deep in thought. Yeah, I only lost about a hundred yards. And it was a pretty trip. Near the water. There's a little bridge down here, I guess, but I'm not gonna cross this water. Yep. Okay. This is the AT sobriety test. <laughs> I passed it. All right. Okay, here we go. Back on the Appalachian Trail. I am coming out to the parking lot. I am nine tenths of one mile from Springer Mountain. Chops! There's my chops, my trail angel. Ah. All right, 
day 178 on the Appalachian Trail is coming to an end. Here we go.